happening now, the funeral for former Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. The trailblazer died on New Year's Eve at the age of 89. Last night, during an emotional prayer service, hundreds of people, including the President of the United States, honored her life and legacy. Our Nick Starling joins us live from Concord Church, where the service is underway. Nick. Hey, Karen. Yeah, the funeral started a little over an hour ago. It's still going on. As you can imagine, there's a long list of speakers talking about the long legacy and accomplishments of former Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, as she's had such an impact on so many people in this community. Now, let's take you inside the sanctuary where there's video of what the, vi what the funerals look like so far. There were messages from Vice President Kamala Harris, former President Bill Clinton. EBJ's family will give remarks later in this service. As we know, EBJ served 30 years in Washington, representing the Dallas area, and she was no doubt a trailblazer. We spoke with some local leaders on EBJ's legacy of bipartisanship and getting things done for this community and being a role model for the younger generations. We spoke with a senior pastor here at Concord Church about the service this morning. The family has gone to a great extent to do everything they can to celebrate her in every space of her life from a national level, uh, from a state level, to the city of Dallas level. This service is all about celebrating how she advocated for those that didn't have a voice, how she worked to provide funding and opportunities for those in our city. The impact that she had will be celebrated today in a great, in a great way. Now the services will continue on tomorrow as well down in Austin World. There will be a graveside service and burial over there. Again, that's in Austin tomorrow. Of course, we'll have continuing coverage of this funeral on our website, cbsnewstexas.com. We're actually streaming it there live for you. And of course, in our later shows, especially at 4 o'clock as well. Live in Dallas, Nick Starling, CBS News, Texas.